How's it going guys? Observation King here. You might need to excuse me this morning, it's a bit chilly. So my nose is a bit runny. But I just want to show you um, the update on my butternut squash. You can see that there's some flowers forming there. They're quite open. I just got in, just got into the allotment this morning, just a few minutes ago, and I saw these as I walked past. Um, so hopefully later on in the day, there's gotta be some bees that can come and actually pollinate that for us and do what they need to do. But you can see the size of this thing. I mean, I can't even get the entire plant on the camera right now. I have to keep panning around. So we know that that's really taking off. The others are following suit. This is all buttoned up. They're all following suit. They're taking a bit longer, but they're gonna get there. And my cucumbers are taking off as well. This one especially. I can see a nice long tendril there already. And I've got another one over here. And I had this one here yesterday, which actually produced a few flowers. You can see that just underneath there. There's actually a few of them in there. Just want to show you that, guys. Whew. Again, I apologize. My nose is a bit runny this morning. And that's basically what I've got to show for now. Shall I show you my uh, sweet corn? The sweet corn is actually starting to catch up. You can see all the others that didn't have the tassels. Now I have the tassels. I'm not sure what happened here with this. Not sure where that came from, but it must have broke off from somewhere. I'm not sure which one though, but other than that, they all seem to be fine. The cobs seem to pick, be picking up a little bit of size on this actually, but I'm not sure if they'll get completely pollinated in time because um, the others still have to actually catch up a little bit more. I mean, this one over here is catching up a little bit and the others are also picking up some speed. Got some crows fighting here. Um, so I'm just hoping that even if this one doesn't actually produce a couple of cobs, by the time the others actually start picking up, we can actually have uh, a group of uh, sweet corn that actually grow at roughly the same time, which allows for wind pollination, and then we can get something to eat. So that's what I wanted to show today, guys. Just give you a little bit more angles on this. And that's it. I'm out.